Here's an overview of using stamens for business continuity. It's a complicated environment with floods and hurricanes, heat waves and polar vortexes, forest fires, earthquakes, tornadoes, even civil unrest. Depending on where you operate, you tend to think about different types of things that might interrupt your business. But they're all the same in that there can be very costly, and a little bit of preparation and planning up front can make a huge difference. So let's imagine we have a corporate headquarters and sites all over the place. When something happens at one of our sites, there's a bunch of things we have to think about. Now, it doesn't matter whether it's an office building or a school or a retail location or restaurant or something industrial in nature. We think, of course, about the physical assets, the structures themselves, plus any vehicles or equipment or inventory that may be there. There's our on-site team and customers, which could be companies or individuals or people who work at those companies. Of course, there's our technology and data, which could be the local network, our overall corporate infrastructure, or telephony and communications system. And finally, we have to remember the vendors that we're going to rely upon if there's a problem. The insurance adjuster, cleanup crew, maybe some engineers and contractors who are going to help us do the work after an event. Let's use an example of a hurricane to walk through how this works. There's the hurricane, and we can see it's got a classic cone and an expectation of where it's going to be when. Someone in corporate notices the hurricane and kicks off the first checklist. This is the long-term preparation for the corporate level. It includes a bunch of things that have to happen. The tasks are assigned to people on the corporate level. And at the same time, we're identifying the people on sites that might be affected and giving them instructions as to what to do. They launch their own checklist to activate their teams and give instructions to them as to what they're supposed to do to get ready. All that work gets done. And now it's a couple days later. The hurricane is still on track so we launch the next checklist, which is short-term preparation for corporate. It has a bunch of things that have to be handled at their headquarters, and the same thing again to launch the local checklists on site. While the event is actually happening, everybody is following instructions from local authorities and sheltering in place and so forth. But immediately after, it's time for short-term recovery, both on the corporate level and on site. There are checklists for these things as well, with the appropriate tasks being assigned to the appropriate people. Everyone knows what to do, and eventually the hurricane moves off and we can focus on longer term things that will help us get better and improve our activities overall for the next time this happens. The playing field here is really broken up into things that happen at headquarters and things that happen on site. As the hurricane moved through, everybody knows exactly what to do, both in headquarters and on site. The same is true for knowing what to do right before something happens and immediately after. On a long-term basis, we're able to really take the time to understand what needs to happen so we do better next time. Meanwhile, everybody has had a very clear path to follow of these unpredictable and difficult situations. Generally speaking, the things that happen in headquarters are things that can happen from a distance, like planning and coordination and communication. On site, it's much more about things that are local, like staging and assessing and cleaning up. True practitioners can take detailed looks at these things to see exactly what's happening at each stage on the local and on the corporate level. But the reality is we can start with basic checklists that are included with stemmins that cover the kinds of things that tend to happen. You can take those checklists and review them, modify them for your operations, and know that you'll make the best of a difficult situation going forward. In all cases, the long-term recovery is really the same for distance and local because it's about managing projects and handling claims and improving the process for next time. If we do these things, we're going to have better experiences with our physical assets, with our team, with our customers, with our technology and data, and we'll have better experiences and relationships with our vendors. And that's how we can use Stemmons for business continuity.